Hi everyone, welcome back to my Tech Super channel. Today in this video, I'm going to describe the business rules in WebBCS. What are the business rules and what all business rules exist in the WebBCS. So guys, before I move forward, I will request everyone to subscribe my channel to get regular updates of my channel time to time. Okay, a few uh, information I wanted to share with you, which is really important for you guys. I have few Udemy courses, uh, which I have uploaded myself. Uh, which will help you to learn Oracle Integration Cloud end to end. I have uploaded one course recently with name AWA to learn Oracle Integration Cloud. It is as per the latest update of OIC. So you can uh, go through this uh, bit.ly link, uh, just mention corresponding to the name of the course and you can just buy it. I have another uh, courses related to the API PCS and another course is OIC real time use cases, which will help you to learn uh, OIC with real time use cases. This course will help you to get the job and you can mention all the real time cases scenarios in your CV too. Uh, one course is related to the BBCS, which will help you to learn BBCS quickly and another course is related to the process cloud service. So you can see all my uh, Udemy courses using that bit.ly link. You can just surf it and then buy my courses. Uh, you can become a member of my uh, YouTube channel too. And there are a few benefits. If you wanted to know more about the benefits, you can go through this YouTube link, which is mentioned on this slide. There are three perks which I am providing as part of this membership, like phone call on demand, web session support, and proof of concept. Okay. So guys, let's get started and see what are the business rules in the BBCS. So what are the business rules? Business rules allow you to validate business objects data as well as to fire an event when data is inserted into the business object. So business rules are the seeded functionality of the business objects, which will allow you to validate your data before you insert it into it. And if you want to fire an event when your data is inserted, you can use that business rules and business rules are available only in the OIC Gen 2. It's not available in the Gen 1. So when you create a business object, there's a one tab called business rules. You can go there and you can activate the business rules, whatever you want to use. There are five types of business objects mentioned here. One is object triggers, field triggers, object validators, field validators, object functions. So these are the business rules which are provided by the VBCS application. So I'm explaining all the uh, all the business rules one by one. What is object trigger? Object trigger is one of the business rules which is used to specify the sequence of actions that starts when a specific event occurs. It is just like a database trigger. Whenever you create a table in a database, you write few triggers. For example, whenever you are record is inserted you want to specify the current date and time in the create date column or you wanted to insert the current logged in user in your database similarly in the vbcs you can write the object trigger which will allow you to insert or update record into another business object whenever a new record is inserted or updated into your business object or you can specify the sequence of actions which can execute sequentially one by one if you want to specify uh, more actions on uh, record insertion or updation, you can do that. So this is at the object level. Object level is nothing. It is like a business object level. Field triggers. Field triggers as the name represents field. So this trigger, so this business rule is specific to a specific field under a business object. It is used to specify the condition on the fields that that are applied whenever a business object field changes in value. If you're trying to insert a data into your business object and one of the fields is amount, if you want to do something on the insertion of that field, then you can use the field triggers. For example, you have one business object called expense. On that expense business object, you have one field called amount. You want to send an approval email if amount is greater than zero. If amount is greater than $100. If it is not, then don't send an email. So you can write a trigger on a specific field using the field triggers. Object validators. 
So object validators are used to validate the business objects before you insert the data into your business object. It is used to validate the record before you insert into the custom business objects. For example, if you have an expense, if you have two, two business object called employee and an expense, the expense is having one column called employee ID, which is the foreign key and referring the employee ID of your employee business object. So what do you want? You want to validate your expense business object in which you want, if you will apply a condition, insert the record only if amount is greater than zero and employee ID is not equal to null because you only want to, you only want the expenses from the valid employee which is there in your employee business object and if the amount is only greater than zero so you can validate the particular row so you can specify two or more fields while creating the object validators field validators as as the field triggers the field validators are specific to the fields it is used to validate the particular field in the custom business object. For example, if you have an employee business object and in that employee business object, you have a field called age. So you only want to create an employee if the age of the employee is greater than 18, then only allow insertion of the record. Otherwise, throw an error that the employee cannot be inserted because the employee age is less than 18. Object functions. Object functions are very, very helpful. So they are used to encapsulate the logic. It is used to write the custom logics. You can use that functions wherever you want. For example, if you want to, let's suppose you have one business object, employee business object in which you have a lot of data. You have one field called name. You want to get the total number of user bases on a particular name. So you can write the custom function and you can call this function and then get the total number of users. So these are the business rules in the VBC. So now I will take you to the VBC screen and will show you from where you can access all these business rules. Okay, so this is one of my application VBC generic app. Here you see we have created one department object and on the department object, you can see the business rules. And under that business rules, you have a different, different business rules called object triggers, field triggers, object validators, field validators, and then object functions. So in order to create any one of the uh, business rules, click on a particular tab and then use to click on a plus new object trigger specify the trigger name and create your object trigger similarly fill triggers you have to enter the trigger name uh, for the object validator object validator field validators new field validator and then object functions so these are your business rules which you can create under vbcs in the further videos i will show you how to create object triggers, field triggers, object validators, field validators, and then object functions. So guys, that's all about the business rules. If you have any question, any concern, please keep me, keep, uh, keep your question posted. I will be happy to assist you. You can view me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. You can view the Pinterest. You can see my blogs, https colon www.taxsupper.com. And please, please don't forget to subscribe my channel to get regular updates. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Have a good day.